once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They all lived happily together, but one day, hunters took their dad away forever. So now the brothers were alone and they had to find a new home. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. And then they worked together to learn how to use his power and to follow the rules for them. They discovered a secret hideout where they could train day and night. They were happy. But the little wolf got very sick, so they had to move on. On the way, a deadly predator attacked them. But the little one destroyed it using his power. They decided to journey to the home of their nearby ancestors to seek help. Finally, the tired and hungry brothers made it to the home of their ancestors. The old wolves invited them to stay. They even took care of them. They were happy to have a safe, warm place to rest. The little wolf <laughs> even made friends with a raccoon, and together they went on awesome adventures. Unfortunately, hunters were hot on their trail and found them. But the tiny raccoon helped the brothers escape and almost got hurt. Only almost. The brothers had nowhere to stay again, so they decided to keep going south to the distant homeland of their papa wolf. Hey everybody, welcome back to Life is Strange 2. I'm going through my second save file today where I make some choices that I didn't do in my original main playthrough. I'd say most of these choices involve letting Daniel be a little bit freer and just Sean not being as cognizant that he's supposed to be this role model for Daniel. How did I get Lila to talk me into this shit? Ah, uh, you only realize this in hindsight. But Sean did end up going skinny dipping in a random reservoir. Huh. Whoa, hold on. <gasps> Let go! S stop it! Dude, I told you to stay out of my room! Ow! That hurt! Yeah, I'm not fucking around anymore. Got it? <sighs> Are you listening now? Thou <laughs> shall not enter <laughs> thy brother's room. Ah! What the fuck? Nice job! You started it, butthole! What is this crap? Are you fighting again? You proud of yourself? Stop it! Enough! Getting tired of this! Sean, what happened? Now! We were just goofing around, Dad. I swear! He started it! He always gets mad! He's totally lying! You little- Enough! You both better listen because I'm tired of this crap, okay? This is my house too, not your playground. You hear me? Listen, Sean. I can't do this on my own. I... I can't. I need you to help me. I know you don't want to babysit Daniel. You grow up. You need space. More freedom. I get it. But... We're a trio now, and you gotta take some responsibility. That little shit is just a kid. You're almost an adult. I always look out for him, but I can't stop him from creeping around my room. Even you told him. He's just... <sighs> spoiled. And you're not. So were you. And you had... <sighs> Eight years of being spoiled before you had to share toys with your little brother. I know it might sound cheesy, but we have to be good role models for him. He's a Diaz, right? Does that mean I have to babysit him all summer? Okay. 
Maybe you're not ready to grow up yet, but you will eventually understand. Oh. Can I come in? It's the big, bad brother. No! Stay out! I said no! Get out! Whatever! I'm not listening! La 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 la! I don't on, hear anything! Dude. La la la! Oh, I forgot about Bobby the Yeti! <laughs> I brought it back from that field trip to Vancouver. I mean, who does that? Other than a super cool big brother. You didn't bring it back for him! Ah, he's right, Daniel. You should totally forgive him. See? I'm not saying it. Bobby does. <laughs> Leave me alone! <laughs> you brought it for that girl. You weren't planning on giving it to him. Tim, haven't seen you in forever. That made me give this to you. You always wanted my toys. Does this even work anymore? Not after you took care of it. Poor robot. No battery. Duh. Why are you still here? You know, he wants your stuff because it's yours. It's not necessarily because of the stuff itself. And don't touch my stuff. He just wants to be with his big brother. Is that so much to ask for? Man. Beaver Creek feels so far away. There's an ugly gift from last time. The power bear. He doesn't talk about it, but... I know Daniel really misses Chris. Hmm. Guess he doesn't care about it anymore. Oh, did I miss this entire side of the camp? Last time. Another month, and we'll be hooked up for Mexico. Oh. Daniel keeps reading it again and again. I told him not to count on her. He won't listen. Mom, Dad, I've heard the news about Seattle. I'm heartbroken. I have no idea what's going on, but I do know Sean and Daniel are innocent. You're the only family they have left, so please help my boys if they come to you. You can reach me at this address. It's a P.O. box I use sometimes. I know you don't know me anything, but I beg you, please, help my sons if you can. She does care about us on some degree, but not enough to seek us out for whatever reason. Hey, this time, I pet the dog before starting drawing, and the dog won't come. Because the dog moves away after you pet it. Cool. I think I'm ready to draw this. And that's all I got. I'm gonna watch you like a hawk this time, doggy. Oh, fucking way to work a farm. Yeah. Been working for three years in a coffee shop to pay for the trip. Coke, that shit was worth it. Oh yeah. Good times. Every single tree like there's way too many camps and trees around here. You are going somewhere. Where are you? I feel like we will never see everything now. Oh. Oh what here? Gotta ride with us, right? You saw Dang. The shit. True. Lots of dead birds around the camp. Pet weird souvenir. For a weird place. Hmm. The Dharma bums. That looks pretty cool. What the fuck, man? You're awesome. Come on, once again. Yes! I fucking rule! Language. Yo, Sean. Idea. I want to see if Daniel inherited the family blade skills from you. How about a little demo? He can't do it. Come on, let's give the man a chance. Okay. Yeah. I'll take a shot. Isn't this actually the souvenir thing? The knife in the souvenir. 
It is, for sure. It's the same knife, but, um... I don't know if we get it here. Oh, you have to hit the tree. You have to hit the target at least. Yeah, you can't just not hit the target. No. Let's show the kid what's what. What are you doing, Daniel? Whatever, we'll just like throw it somewhere random. <laughs> oh, he whiffs it. <laughs> Only you and me can throw. John, hold your right arm. You know, more like this. And don't aim so hard. You tell him, Dan. It's okay, Sean. You just sucked at this. That's all. Dude, stop that. Seriously? What's wrong with you? Let's go for the second round. <laughs> You're good. Don't stress. Is he gonna interfere or give it to me? <laughs> Blam! <laughs> right between the fucking eyes. Damn. <laughs> oh, did you guys escape from some circus? Mm. That was just luck. Seriously, that shit was off the chain. One time is luck. Second time is skill. So let's see. Oh, so we end up being able to throw three times. We're not gonna get anything anyway. <laughs> oh, fuck that! <laughs> Miss, Finn treats me like an adult. He understands. Uh-oh. Big Joe. Forget it, apparently. Oh my god, our relationship is rapidly deteriorating. Hey, Daniel. Remember what I said. Low profile. <sighs> yeah. Okay. We're cool. So fucking tired. Stop your bitching or get out of here. Hey! Jeez. Why do you gotta hit people's heads anyway? So rude. Sir, yes, sir. Come on, Sean. We're gonna be late. Right. Remember, I'm only letting you and your brother work here because Finn put in a good word. I know. We really appreciate it. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. No ass kissing, please. Just watch out. Next time your brother fucks up, you're both gone ASAP. Look, I'm not trying to bust your balls, but this is a pot farm and he's a fucking kid. You hear me? Totally. Um, thank you again. Didn't you hear me? I don't speak kiss-ass. Sorry, I'll keep him out of the way. You better. This business has enough shit already. What kind of shit? <laughs> Jesus, what is this, an interrogation? Uh, no. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay, time's up. Get the fuck out of here. You got a lot of work to do today. All right. Uh, thank you. I'm gonna try to be lazy today, do the minimum amount of buds, but nobody starts talking if we don't start picking up some weed. <laughs> Sean. Sean. <laughs> Still with us? Uh, yeah. Sorry. Brain fart. Ah, fuck this. This game sounds bad, man. What is it? You got work to do. Mind your own business. <laughs> okay, whatever, Mr. Grumpy. Jeez, it's called Mustard Party, okay? What? what? You're playing Mustard Party? Jeez, that's so cool. I used to be on the scoreboard. Cool, I don't care. Oh, Joseph, <laughs> are you not on the scoreboard? Shut up, you got work to do. Whoa, how come the conversations go a little bit differently? This guy feels like he's a little bit nicer today, huh? Hey, amigo, 
You don't get paid for not working. <gasps> Jesus. I know. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Everyone's staring at me. <sighs> Hannah, please. You're giving me a lot of pressure by- Gotta be more focused. <laughs> yeah. Ouch! Shit. Ooh. You okay, sweetie? It's okay. You're doing fine. Just... Slow down if you need to. I know. I will. Thanks, Sean. That was a little bit nicer. Big Joe's watching us. I better keep on trimming. Slow down if you need to means Daniel just stops working entirely. Mm, my ass hurts. Fuck, this is really boring. Oh, poor baby. That's the job. Don't think, just work. Okay. Just don't ask me to smile for the camera all day long. Feels like working in a factory. Imagine doing this for years. See? Sean agrees with me. As always. This is oh. fun at first, but it does start to get old after a while. How about stop bitching so much? Sean, you're already on Meryl's shit list. Don't get us all kicked out of here. Just sit and trim. Okay, sorry, man. If we're a family, we stick together. You're on the bus or off the bus. Hey, she just needs freedom, dude. Exactly. Thank you, darling. Just grow up, Cassidy. Stop acting <laughs> like a princess. Thanks, Mom. Anything else? <laughs> yeah. But we don't have the time. Did you fall out of the wrong side of the tent or what? That's not Shit. My problem, You're clueless. God, I was super lazy today. I only got four buds trimmed. Yeah, I have no idea whose scissors- Oh, it's Cassidy's scissors! Look! She's not holding anything! <laughs> Need two more hands, Dishmaster? No thanks. Almost done. I'll meet you at the lake for my training. Okay, then. Oh! <gasps> what affects that? Just him in general not wanting me to help him out because he doesn't like me very much? I actually never helped him with the dishes back in Seattle. But everything's different now. Dang, I wanted to see you lift the water tanks today, but I guess that's not happening. Oh, there's little ants over here. Yes, I know. Go fill the water tanks. Where are they coming from? They have one job. The log? Anyway, though. Huh. Does me not asking about his watch earlier affect anything? Like, he thinks that I don't, I don't even care about it, so he's like, whatever. It's hard to tell, because the relationship with Daniel is very cumulative. It's not any one choice. But we must be doing pretty poorly right now. Hey. Hola. <laughs> ¿Qué está, señor? <laughs> Bien, ¿y tú? Tengo la púa que perdiste. Uh... No comprendo. <laughs> Don't laugh. Still learning, Professor. I said I got the pick you left at Beaver Creek. What? That's so cool. Why didn't you tell me? I didn't want to look like a creep. You don't. I lose them all the time. You can keep it, stalker. <laughs> Talk later. Thanks, man. She's so natural. I wish I could be more like that. Socializing is hard. I feel you, man. Let's draw Finn today. Even the angle they give you, though, I feel like you don't really want to draw Finn because, like, what's he doing? He's just sitting here. I mean, not that you need cool. a reason. I think I'm ready to draw this. But I feel like you have a bigger reason to draw Cassidy. If you don't already like Finn to begin with. 
Finn's attitude is so nonchalant. Like he's not bothered by anything. Hmm. Pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. You are so focused when you draw. That's cute. Yeah, um... Thanks. <laughs> Let me be the judge. Whoa, whoa, give it back. Please, Cassidy, do not even look. Whoa, down boy. Really, Sean? I didn't mean to freak. <laughs> Stop this tortured artist shit. Share it. Come on. Fuck. <laughs> You're good. Oh, no way! That looks exactly like him. He would love it. Don't you think that's weird? Why would it be? Don't overthink everything, Sean Diaz. Well, I could never draw like that. What's your secret? Practice. I just keep trying to get better. I would draw no matter what. That's what keeps me going. Huh. Yeah, same here. With my music. This place is great for inspiration. These redwoods, the fog, the ocean. It smells like hope and freedom. Except for the working part, I guess. Yeah, but we don't always have to suck up to fuckers like Meryl. Most of the year, it's just us. The road and us. Hmm. What do you miss about your old life? Anything? Besides some friends? Nothing. Well, my own bathroom. <laughs> Out here, you see that you don't need all that bullshit they sell. Huh. That's freedom. I mean, the trick in this country is just to survive. I guess. I do like traveling around, but... I want a base. Will you ever go back to Texas? Going back to all the crap I left behind? No way. So, tell me. What do you miss about your old life? <laughs> Being carefree. Like, I miss not having to worry about Daniel 24-7. Just want him to be safe. He's not going to have what I had. <laughs> Probably not. Yeah. But... Things change. Right? Yep. So, keep moving forward. You have a good heart, Sean. I think you could use some alone time. See you later. <laughs> Thanks. I thought Finn was gonna come up to us. It's always Cassidy? Hey man, I know you got the goods. Oh! That's some serious wood. Crapping skills. <laughs> Let's keep that souvenir. From the master sculptor. That looks awful. <laughs> Zero hugs given. I think Daniel is feeling quite neglected. Earlier, he reacted a little bit to Cassidy, too. I wasn't very focused on the trim today. Guess we'll see tomorrow. Man, trimming sucks. I like Hannah, though. Ooh. <laughs> Why is that? I don't know. She's honest and tough like a warrior. And not like Cassidy. Well, they're all kind of warriors. Hannah, Finn, Penny, Cassidy. Cassidy? Oh, right. Wah! I'm bored. She whines like a baby. You would know, right? Shut up. Yeah, he's pretty jealous of her. Because I guess he can feel that Cassidy quite likes me. So, canonically, does Sean have to like Cassidy back? No. But 
Cassidy does like Sean, so Daniel is picking up off of it. That was some next level shit, Daniel. I can do anything now. Hey, don't go crazy. This is still a secret. You still have to be careful with it, man. You always want it both ways. Use it, then don't. We just have to make sure you can control it. Well, it's my power, not yours. Whatever. That's a good point, because that has been a thing with Sean. Either we use it, or we don't. But no, Sean's always like, don't show it in front of other people, but it's okay if we use it in secret. Which is kind of... It's not the best way to go about it. What's wrong with you, man? I don't like this new emo Daniel. You keep throwing your attitude at me for no reason. Sick of it. Listen, I think Finn is a bad influence on you. You're just jealous. Yeah, hell no. Why do you say that? Because you always show up whenever we hang out. You hate him. Knock it off. I... I do like Finn. Enough to want to kiss I him. Mean, never mind. That's it, enough. You're being a brat. Can't say anything without you having a shit fit. We're family. We still have a long way to go. And we have to go together. Right? John, take a puff and pass it to your friend. Nah, I'm... I'm good. Daniel! No fucking way. Jeez. <laughs> I was just joking. Ha ha. You better be. Jeez. I swear every time you play that song, Cass, I see my poor black flag. Oh, man. <sighs> I'm sorry. Who's... Black Flag. It was my dog back in Colorado until last year. Yeah, something like that. A year ago, we were hopping a train, just me, mm. Finn, and Cass, and Black Flag. We got caught stealing some shit in some random town. Motherfuckers called the cops on us. Had to run for it. We saw that train from afar and went straight at it. Cops were right behind us. We barely made it but nobody's able to get Black Flag. Yeah, I see him chasing after the train, <coughs> yapping at me. But I left him there. That's it. End of story. I hope the cops picked him up. Got him a better home. I think about that damn dog every day. Here's to Black Flag. Mm. Oh, frick! Man. Oh, shoot. I miss Mushroom. That was our rescue dog. She didn't make it with us. Oh, sweetie. Jeez. Sorry, I ruined the mood. I'm glad I found you guys. I don't know if I'll ever go back there. Not until I get a signal from God, at least. <sighs> I don't believe in that shit. Ooh. Be mean. Sorry. Don't worry. <laughs> I didn't say anything. It's my cross to bear, as they say. What about you, Cassidy? Your turn. Uh. Uh. -uh. Pass. I already sang a song. <laughs> Figures. What about you, Sean? You obviously don't have to talk about that shit show back in Seattle. But if you have something else. <laughs> Whoa. No. <laughs> No way, man. I'm too wasted. How about me? You're the man I was waiting for. Oh. It's not only one bad memory, but they're all about my friends. I feel like I've let everyone down. Like Noah and Lila from Seattle. And there's our dog, Mushroom who was killed by a puma. So we had to bury her. Then, I lost Chris, because we had to run away, again. I know he's not my friend anymore, because
because I lied to him. But more than anything, I miss my best friend, my dad. Jesus, little man. That's hard. I'm so sorry, Daniel. I told you I'd win. You didn't let anybody down. Life did. Yeah, life is a bitch. We can only go with the flow, like a river. Looks like we still have some booze left. Who's in? <laughs> oh, twist my arm. A teeny tiny drink. And we need to talk about Sean's hippie hair. Boy needs a real haircut. Oh, hell yes he does. <laughs> now it's your turn to get a trim. Karma. I'll call it a day, too. Night, everyone. Hey. I'm wiped out. Are you ready for bed yet? No, I think I'm gonna hang with the guys today, Daniel. Interesting, though. So if you're too wasted to talk about your own memories, then Daniel starts talking on his own. Sorry, Daniel. It's grown-up hour now. No, man. Uh, I'm gonna hang for a bit. You want me to walk back alone? Oh. So now you're a kid again? <sighs> Have no fear. Finn is here. I'll walk you, little man. Sleep tight, Daniel. <laughs> Sweet dreams, sweetie. Now, what? you belong to us, Diaz. So, let's do something about that shaggy hair. Yeah, let's not. I like my shag. Sean, maybe you haven't noticed, but we have standards here. Fine. Whatever. Cut me up. Atta boy. That's what I like to hear. Sean, you gotta walk Daniel back. Stop <laughs> letting Finn get between you guys, man. <laughs> I don't want to end up with a mullet. Or worse. Tell that to your stylist. Don't look at me, boy. I only cut weed. Um... That means... Why, hello, laddie! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to McNam Hair Salon. Check, please. Yeah? <laughs> uh, step right up! Uh, hey, hey, no stress. You're talking to a pro. Just relax. And enjoy the buzz. Right, now, let's see. Hey, hands off now. The barber didn't ask what I wanted. What the heck? Whoa, 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 down, Finn. What? Hey, what are you doing? Stop. I said, don't worry, Cassidy. Stop <laughs> fooling around. <laughs> you assholes. Ha, ha, ha. Stand fucking straight. Nice. Looking good, Slick. Seriously. Hey, we don't fuck around at McNam Hair Salon. Mmm. <laughs> bit more here. Yes, that's gone. Almost done? I'm worried. Voila! What's the verdict? Hot. <laughs> nice. Okay. Can I see now? Oh my god! <laughs> Whoa. There goes my job at Wall Street. I'm as ugly as you are. Love it. My pleasure. Really? Careful, Sean. People are gonna think you're one of us. <laughs> don't think so, Cass. <laughs> Looks don't mean nothing. Lucky for you. Here, you deserve it. I don't know. I'm already kind of trashed. Plus, I might be hosting tonight. Uh, Finn? I don't know. Maybe. Well, hosting? Just in case. Can y'all let me get some rest tonight? <laughs> Sean... Won't be able to sleep either. Oh, um, Hannah and Finn have a thing going on? Is that what's happening? Oh. I'm cool. So, how long have you two been, um, together? If you don't mind. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's so funny? You? That look on your face? Hilarious. Yeah, uh, 
Hands and I aren't together, sweetheart. We're just fuck buddies. Oh, oh. We're pretty open right. here. Duh. Fuck who you want to fuck. The end. Or don't. Nobody has to do anything if they're not into it. Yeah. We're not into the whole fucked up system. We make our own rules. You feel us, Sean? Or do we sound like depraved punks to you? <laughs> this is the depraved punks option. Uh, Sean definitely seems a little bit surprised. And it is surprising to a normal city boy, I guess. So sure. Nah, it just feels... different. I'm new to all this. I don't get half the shit you guys talk about. I don't know shit about the world, so... I don't know. Legit, dude. It took us time, too, you know? Like, I didn't change my views on politics, life, or sexuality in a blink. It takes a whole fucking reconstruction. Right. Does it mean you're into guys and all? Uh, that depends on the position. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, sure. Take a number, Sean. So, what about you? Ooh. More into girls. Some boys are cute. Not into dating. Had many girlfriends. Well, this is a blatant lie, right? I wonder if people will call me out on it, though. But... But, if we wanna... If we wanna get that kiss with Finn, I feel like we gotta be a bit more explicit about it. Some boys are cute. Others are gross. I don't know. I've never actually done anything, so... Ooh. What's your type? Jeez. Give him a break, master player. I'm joking. He knows I'm cute. Okay, lovebirds, that's it for me. A lot of work tomorrow. Plus, it's payday. Fuck. I could talk all night, but yeah. Don't want Daniel to start whining. Gracias por todo. See ya, my dudes. You gonna swing by, Finn? Nah, sweetie. No energy. No big deal. Get some rest. Buenas noches, Sean. Loving on the hair. Meow. Hey, when am I getting that kiss? <laughs> now for Sean. You should be pulling more for your weight. You know what I mean? Sorry, man. Let me go! Come on, man. Big Joe, what are you gonna do? He's just a little fucking kid! This ain't your business. Think I like it? It's mine. <gasps> Ow! What the... Uh. Uh. Okay. Okay, who did that? Not me! Who did that? Uh... Big Joe, my friend. Somebody had to take it. Damn, I'm being such a shit brother in this one. I feel like I've been neglecting Danny a lot. Whoa. And then Finn's the one who has the black eye. <laughs> it will be so weird to not hear his stupid voice all day long. Well, that's not what he said before, right? This one sounds a little bit more flirty. <laughs> Have a seat. <laughs> Have a beer. To our last night together. And to your next adventure. Sorry about your eye, dude. So, you're starting all over, and now, you just gotta take the next step to build a something for you and Daniel, right? I know you're right, Finn. It's just a fucking lot to think through. <laughs> no, it's not. You just gotta trust your gut, Sean. 
Life will follow. Come on. No, Meryl's probably wasted, like every night. You guys can get to Puerto Lobos in style with a, a nest egg. But you don't want Daniel to be homeless anymore, right? Huh? Then let's do this. I wouldn't let you in on this if I had any doubt. Let me in on it. As if your plan didn't depend on Daniel, huh? Finn, I don't think he's like evil or anything, but he's not... He's not the smartest Koki of the bunch. No. He's a little bit manipulative. Are you positive we can do this without getting busted? Absolutely. Candy from a baby. Hmm. Okay. Fuck it. We're in. Yes, fucking A! You are the man! <laughs> I knew you and me were the same. I felt it from the start. I also thought it'd be cool if you and Daniel stayed with us after we're done. Really? You'd be cool with that? Only if you are. No pressure. I'm really glad we met, Sean. I feel like we have a strong connection. <laughs> That's me. I always getting obsessed over people I meet. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> These people have been pretty outward about their feelings. Let's go for it. <laughs> I... I think I feel... the same. What are you afraid of, then? Nothing. <sighs> I think I'm gonna miss this place. No shit. I love it too. I'm so fucking glad we ran into you guys. This was... the single best experience in my whole life. Yeah, it's always a wild ride. I'm glad you're on board now. I mean, if you're in... Looks like you're ready for the long haul. Yeah. I feel... different now. In a good way. Right on. <laughs> you sure ain't no puff anymore. There's so many things we can do together, Sean. Yeah. I'd like that. So, um, uh, how do we work this out tonight? Uh, it's early, so... Just go party. Hug everybody goodbye. Then talk to Daniel and come get me when you're ready. Cool? Cool. Cool. By the way, Sean, it was a cool moment. <laughs> All right. Whoa. That was wild. Never thought I could actually do it so glad i did i kind of want to do it again okay shut up <laughs> see i feel like we got a little bit more with cassidy than with finn and it kind of sucks that finn's sort of locked behind the stupid idiot option because the heist no matter how you look at it it's kind of dumb right i need to talk to cassidy while i still can <laughs> Shit. Yeah. Cassidy's been dude, busting dude, my balls dude. about a tattoo for a week. Fuck him. You gotta think Looks like she meant it. Girl. I know, but we've been together for so long. Oh. We're so far from Sweden. Scary. No. Listen, not saying you have to do it. Just think about it. Okay. Trust me, I do. 
Shit, I'm so tired of this. Hey, hey, cool down. You guys will be okay. They're gonna break yeah. up. I'm so bummed you guys are leaving. No shit. Are you still going to Mexico? <laughs> yeah, at least we have to try. It's cool you have a goal. I can't wait to get the fuck out of here. But they want more cash. Then Shin lacks to get his weed on. Um, why don't you come with us? Is that... Are you serious? Yeah, why not? That's so sweet, Sean. But I'm not cut out for that laugh. I can't stay in the same place. I need to move. See places. Live. And the last thing Daniel wants is me bumming around with you two. <laughs> the best way to remember somebody is... A tattoo. <laughs> Ready? Wait, are you serious? Goddamn right. This is like your initiation ritual. Don't be scared. Cass is here. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm extra scared. I wonder how Daniel feels about me getting with Finn. Because the whole time, he's been sort of jealous about Cassidy, right? How I spend so much time with her. And yeah, canonically, I feel like we spend more time with Cassidy, no matter who you choose to like. So how would he feel about me liking Finn instead? Still getting that tattoo. Fuck yeah. Let's... Let's do it. Really? Yes. Yes. Here comes your street cred. What's your favorite game? <laughs> Yeah, um, I'm not sure I... I'm joking. It'll be super cool. I swear. So, hey, you know how... Oh my god. Want, think hard. <laughs> Remember how earlier Cass is like, Oh yeah, I don't know how to draw. I'm not that good of an artist. And now you're letting her design your tattoo. Oh my gosh. Um, wolf? Thingy? But not to cringe, okay? Boy, you won't be disappointed. Here's to your first tattoo, Sean Diaz. All right, put your arm over here. My poor city boy. At least I'm sure you'll never forget me now. I don't need a tattoo to remember you, Cass. Bullshit. Life's a bitch, Sean. You know it as much as I do. Who knows what's coming for you? Mm. A month from now, you can Need a sugar molly, or <laughs> get hired on a cruise ship to Egypt, or whatever. And before you know it, will be a tiny memory in the back of your mind. My life isn't that wild. Will you get a new tattoo to remember me? Yes, I will. I don't want to forget you. I'm really glad I got to meet you, Sean Diaz. From that day at the market, I knew there was something in you. Whoa, I... Thanks. It's the same for me. I... had hoped that we'd meet again. And we did. Yep. Don't believe in fate, but... Sometimes life sure does look a lot like it. <laughs> We're having this conversation right after we get with Finn. And... I'm done. What do you oh think? Oh my god! It looks good. Thanks a lot. I love it. I'm glad you like it. It looks like garbage. This will keep it warm for the night. You'll need to buy a healing balm when you can. So Cass's tattoos look cool because somebody else did it. She didn't do her own tattoos. Hey, you know what? I think I'll have a swim in the lake now. Come with me. Is that okay? We just kissed Finn, but then we can also go to the lake with Cass. That was cool. Hope I don't look like a clown. I actually kind of get why they all wear tattoos. Feels like you belong. I think they'd be okay with it, because they mentioned earlier that they were like, oh, you know, we're not dating or anything. Oh. oh. Hey, That's why I don't know it. Sorry. Didn't mean to interrupt. <laughs> I just <laughs> don't be silly. It's hard we for all me cool. to say some words. Just talking. Daniel, you got shit. nothing to be sorry about. <laughs> well, it's who you are. Let me know if you need anything. Everybody Thanks, Sean. 
Yeah. You're a very good American. <laughs> I try. <laughs> Talk to you later. Still yes, we will. Oh, hey, Sean. We're throwing away stuff by our tent, and you can take a look if you want anything. Okay, cool. Thanks, man. Your tent is... You look bummed. Or really baked. No, I'm just... Don't Thinking about the powers. Come on, give it up. Wait, is it about your money? Uh... Oh. Yeah, I guess. You get paid next week. Is there something you want to buy? It's stupid, I know. Can't stop my brain. You and me. But don't trip on this shit. Come have a beer. Nah. Just not feeling the party. Gotcha. Don't want to get in your space. Out of here. Not sure I've got time to swing by the lake for Kaz, but... Why not? Hmm, I wonder about Jacob. I don't think it's the last we've seen of him. Oh, sweet. Better take it before it ends up in the trash. These rich tourists. This one? Oh, this little pinata thing. Pinata? Horse. Lila would go completely nuts if she knew what I just did. We didn't get to call Lila this episode. Makes me kind of sad. Especially since we know she's not doing too well, but here... Up until the heist anyway, we were kind of having the time of our lives. So, what are you gonna do about Finn and, you know, his... plan? I talked to him. Yeah, I'm... I'm gonna do it. What? Are you shitting me? Don't freak out. We can do this. Um, easy peasy. Easy peasy? What about Daniel? Is this how you fucking protect him? We can take care of ourselves. Trust me. You know what? I'm done with Wait! You. Sean, don't get all mad. Come on. Just listen. I heard your bullshit. You and Finn are so fucking dumb. Damn. Shit. Flashlight! <laughs> Great. Damn, that soured the mood real fast. Maybe we should have just lied. <laughs> Theoretically though, since she doesn't know what choice we actually told Finn, we can kiss with Finn and Cassidy. There's my partner. We've been looking all over for your ass. You ready? Did you take a cold shower? <laughs> what? Uh, kind of. Hey, Sean. You ready to rock? I feel good about this. We just follow the plan, and we're gonna be fucking loaded, guys. Okay, so... How do we get there? We're taking one of Big Joe's trucks. Big Joe better be asleep, man. Oh, he's down for the night. Fuck him. Maybe we could take some of his cool stuff, too. No fucking way, Daniel. That house is a death trap. Big Joe probably has an arsenal. The whole place is probably booby-trapped. That's not our mission. I thought we would have to decline going to the tent, but we don't even have to. Let's go, guys. If we talk to Daniel first and ask him about it, we get a slightly different scene. Hey, we let's talk. Can I talk to you for a sec? Uh, yeah. Over here. What's up? You gonna get pissed at me again? No. Come on, dude. Now listen. 
Finn told me more about that safe. Said it'd be easy peasy. I think we could use that cash. It would save our ass for our trip. I know. So, do you want to do it or what? Thinking about it, but it's up to you, Daniel. Me? Yes. Yes. Let's do it. We can eat anything. Stay in hotels, poop in doors. <laughs> so, are we gonna do it? Huh? Yes. We are now. But seriously, don't do anything unless I say so. If something happens, run away. Oh, man. Nothing's gonna happen. I mean it. Don't even think. Run. Jeez. Okay. I'll run. Promise. That's what I want to hear. Love you, brother. Me too. So, are we going? But that would mean cutting off the whole lake part, and we would just go straight to the scene here. Fucking A. The gate is locked. We just gotta get inside and get some wheels. <laughs> Are you coughing again? No way I'll break that. Guys, this one's on you. Is there another way? Uh, Guess not. What the hell are we doing here? Daniel, maybe you can... Uh, you better step back. Try to keep it quiet. If you can, Big Joe might wake up. See, what's he actually doing when he uses his powers right now? Is he just trying to open the gate by force? Or is he trying to disable or destruct the padlock in some way? Or the chain? I got the power. Holy fucking shit. Wow. Let's bail. It looks like he just forced the chain open. Watching us now. Quiet, Sean. Listen, see anything? Mm. Oh, thank God. Okay, troops, we're invisible now. No lights, no sound, no nothing. Cool? <sighs> yeah. I'll try that truck. Cool. What do you want me to do, Finn? Just watch Big Joe's house to see if anybody pops out. You good? Okay. I think Finn understands how to work with Daniel. Like, he knows what to say to make him feel like he's important. Because maybe if that was Sean, he'd just say, Okay, Daniel, just sit aside and do nothing. But Finn, Finn, he's like, Oh, come on, you're really important. You gotta go watch and make sure Big Joe doesn't come out. Which makes everything sound a lot better. Check it out. So, all the doors are locked, but we just gotta get into one car. I... I think I can get that truck started. What? How? Talk. My dad... was a mechanic. He once showed me how to hotwire his tow truck. Just in case. Sean is a fucking repo man. <laughs> that is hot. Plus, we could, uh... Mess with all the other cars, so Big Joe can't follow us. You're starting to scare me. You're too good at this. Ah, <sighs> cool plan, bro. We can look for things to use. Anything destructive. I feel that. We can break the windows and shit. Just keep quiet. Or we can not break the windows. We can be all covert and stuff. Yay, now we can open the hood. Or not. I can wreck that engine. If I can open the hood. With Daniel? Can we try not messing with the tires and stuff? 
I want to see if that guy can actually follow us. Oops. Careful. Serious. What'd you do? Sorry. Theoretically, since we're all in on this operation this time, we should be doing better. The plan should go perfectly, but I have no doubt that things are gonna get messed up later anyway. But before we get to that point, let's see what happens. Is Cass gonna chase us? Daniel's big brother approves of the plan, so who's she to say? Hey, Nano. Come here. Can you open that door? Okay. I can. Think first. Quietly. Uh oh. Oh, fuck it. Let's rush. <sighs> fuck, 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 fuck. You got it, sweetie. Think fast, Sean. I didn't puncture the other car. Yes, you did it. Let's go. Fuck yeah. Drive. Rock, Sean. Talk about an adrenaline rush. <sighs> Shit. That was close. You okay, Daniel? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Big Joe's like going back into his house. Seems like getting through this part undetected is pretty hard. Maybe we had to find the keys elsewhere. Ready to do this? Ready, little man? Yes. I'm not scared. That's what I like to hear. We're gonna be in. And out. I'm glad you're with me, Sean. To the end and shit. Right? To the end and shit, man. Listen. We have to be totally quiet now. I've got the kitchen keys, so we got an easy entrance. Here you go. Whoa. Nice job. Get in. Bust <laughs> that safe. Grab the money. Then head back to the camp and bail out with everyone. You sure they're gonna be okay with that? They will when they see the money. Trust me. Let's move. Did you see the keys? Man, I've been waiting for this for a long time. Really? Fucking A. Meryl can be cool, but he's still just a fucking crook. He doesn't Whoa. give a rat's ass about anything but himself. By the way, careful, guys. Place is rigged with cameras. Shit. That camera is aimed right at us. Which one? Oh, this one. Frickin'. Nice work, Sean. Smile at the camera, dumbass. Thanks, Daniel. I was gonna say, the key has weed on it. Like, hey, these are the keys to the weed farm. This place is creepy at night. Come on. Pot isn't scary. If we leave the cameras alone, will people find us? Lights out. See? <laughs> Told ya. We got a plan to stick it to the man. We're not done yet. Keep it real, Sean. You're right. Not anymore. Yeah. Well, Big Joe already knows about us. We drove off with his car. There's another camera inside. That is recording us. Shit. That camera is aimed right at us. Check out that one. Boom. Heck yeah. Smoke. Locked on the other side. Gotta find a way to get that bar off. Meryl might find out right away. Don't be loud. I know. If it's blocked from the other side, it means someone's on the other side. And if you make noise, Meryl's gonna freaking wake up. We sneak in. Daniel opens the safe. We grab the money. Then get the fuck out. Sound like a plan?
Well, well, well. Come on in. I've been watching you over the cameras, fucking amateurs. All right, move your asses over there. Uh, Meryl. Now. Uh, Aww. boss. <laughs> I know this looks bad, but... Stop. I don't want to hear any more of your shit. So, what was your big fucking plan exactly? Work here for a time and then break into my safe? Pathetic. Who was the moron mastermind? Like I didn't know. I gave you punk's work when nobody would. A place to crash for free. This is how you repay me? Stealing from me? Uh, no, no, it's not about you. So the only way Cassidy doesn't get hurt is she's not here at all. I thought you were different, smart, but you're a real dumbass for getting a kid involved. And you're teaching him how to steal? Thief and brother of the year. Nice. <sighs> what now? You all really fucked up. I can't just let this slide. I can't. You're young, but you can learn from mistakes. That doesn't mean your lesson's gonna be easy. Or painless. Hey, it's me, boss. Oh, Everything God. All right? Yeah, come in. These dumb fucks didn't even mess with the cars to stop me. Bet they got their plan from a TV show. Did you search them? Nah. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, they're clean. Okay. On your knees. Hands on your heads. Don't do this. Don't shut up and do it. Come on, sir. We... we could talk. I'm serious. On your knees. Now! Hmm. So it starts getting similar again. Do what he says. Don't worry. We're on our knees, okay? Meryl? No. You deaf asshole! Don't break my balls now, kid. Daniel, you got this. Don't move. Don't fucking move! Oh! It's not like I want to do this. The people I deal with are worse. But if you rip me off, you rip them off. Then I pay. I have a family to look after too. I gotta protect them first. Can't let you play me anymore. Shot. Leave it alone. No, don't move. Please, boss. I know. I got greedy. I, I was high. Stupid. I I I'll make it up. I know, Finn. You will. No way. <gasps> what? Shit. <laughs> Oh, Daniel! Get out! Oh, out, son of a bitch! Wait! Stop! Daniel! He won't listen. He goes ballistic anyway. But in this one, Finn is hurt but not killed.
There was Big Joe. Meryl. But Cassidy is okay, because she's not here. If Cassidy comes here, she won't be okay. Yeah, just like what we said. It's not Cassidy's brother, so she's not really gonna come after us. If we decide to follow this plan. Finn got shot, but he shouldn't be dead. The safe is open. God damn it, I just want to get to the safe, but it seems like it's actually pretty difficult then. We'd have to disable Big Joe's car, and maybe there was a camera I missed somewhere. Or maybe it's because I let the camera see me before they were destroyed. Seems like it's really hard to get a full stealth one going on, though. I didn't make coffee after drinking the last cup. I hit a bullseye. How can you not hit the target while knife throwing? It's zero. Refused to talk about Karen. Didn't mention the watch. Didn't call Big Joe out. Didn't trim very efficiently. Two percenters, yeah. Didn't help Daniel with his chores because he didn't let me. Didn't ask Daniel to help with my chores, cause he was gone. <laughs> or he was still washing the dishes, right? So he wasn't done with his own. I was wasted at the campfire. I stayed up late and got a haircut. Finn came forward when Daniel hit Big Joe. I was in for the heist. Oh, eventually convince means you and Cassidy catch up to Finn and Daniel, and then you're like, okay, fine, we'll do it. Like that. Kissed Finn. Chose to have a wolf tattooed. Went to the lake and have a midnight swim with Cassidy. Cassidy got very angry with me. Didn't kiss her because she was angry. Didn't enter her tent because she was angry. You woke up Big Joe and he went after you. How the heck? There must have been another way to get that car without Daniel opening the thing. I alerted Meryl while sneaking into his house. See, it's possible, though. It's possible to get in without being noticed, although very, very rarely. I didn't take the gun, because I never even saw it. I did nothing, and Finn wasn't killed. Mm -hmm. Cassidy wasn't injured. Okay, let me try... Yeah, well... Daniel went to sleep alone, boo-hoo. Daniel disobeyed, used his power, and got injured. Dang, Daniel. But he was gonna lash out anyway. Daniel stayed put, but lashed out after Finn died. So this part depends on our relationship, I think. If you have a good relationship, he listens to you, but then after Finn dies, he freaks out. Or, if you didn't have a good relationship, he doesn't listen to you to begin with, so he gets himself injured, but Finn is okay. So Meryl must have been getting ready to shoot Finn then. Well, uh, let me see if I can try to get the one where we actually get to the safe and don't get discovered. Finn has a knife! Hey, you got that knife handy? Hell yeah, here. Thanks. Ah, we're puncturing the tires with Finn's knife. We're doing all four this time. So he shouldn't be able to follow us. Sean, I know these trees are gorgeous, but please speed up. <laughs> oh, what about these ones? Okay. Something sharp should do the job. Was this truck here last time? Cause I didn't puncture it, but Big Joe didn't come anyway. Damn. These treads are like bricks. <sighs> Way too strong to pop. All we gotta do is get this open. Mm, no, I tried opening the hood on the other car. And Big Joe woke up, so let me try to avoid that if we can. Jesus, what is the delay? Just gotta get in that truck and start her up. This is taking too long. Daniel, can you open it? Yep. Uh, Sean? No, no, no. Wait. He'll hear us. Give me a sec to figure this out. Okay, then figure it out. Quick, we're taking too much risk. Yeah, yeah. 
I'm on it, guys. What's this? What's this? Why do people eat half an apple and just leave it there like that? I don't get it, man. Maybe we can get in through here. No way. <laughs> You're gonna force it open? He's gonna hear her. Jeez, come on. Give me something. Oh! Force it open without Daniel's powers. Score. Yes! Hey, Nano. Think you can climb in that back window and open the doors? Let me try. Just be careful and quiet. Holy crap, this one was hard to not get noticed. They give you so many ways to get noticed. Sweet. Hello. We got this. You're good, Diaz. Just hope we didn't wake up the dragon. No stress. Wasn't that loud? Okay. Let's do this. The moment you start driving, he's gonna hear you. <laughs> Theoretically, anyway. Yes! Fucking A! Let's get out of here. Drive. You are the man, Sean Diaz! <laughs> eh. Not that. Okay. Let's rob these mofos. Maybe we can use the door at the back. Because you know how once we go in there, the camera stares at us right away. There's no time for us to turn it off. Lights out. See? <laughs> Told ya. We got a plan to stick it to the man. We're not done yet. Keep it real, Sean. You're right. Not anymore. Good job, Dan. Yes. Who puts bars in a window? We're in the middle of nowhere. Oh! Lovely! Okay. There's the safe. Now, we just gotta get inside. I mean, are there cameras in here? Maybe we don't wanna move that suddenly, do we? <laughs> no way we can open the door unless we move that shit. Daniel, can you lift up that bar behind the door? Yep. You think we'll open that safe easy? Don't worry, little man. Trust me. I know this model. Breakable. Really? Okay. We know you can do it. Shit. That camera's aimed right at us. Oh. Check out that one. What about the one over there that's actually looking right at us? Boom. Meryl's sleeping. Let's get in quick. It's all good here. We'll break that one. Check out that one. If you get in through the front door, I think it's immediately game over, because if you look through the window there, you can see that the camera is... Oh, can we just... Oh, wonderful. Check out that one. Boom. So Daniel's powers work through glass. It doesn't even affect the glass in between. Wow. We got this, bro. In and out. Fuck. No way we can get in through here without tearing the whole place apart. 
There's a safe again. Just different view. Surprisingly, there's no cameras in this one room. Huh. Oh. What is this? A fucking vault? Then, do your keys work on this one? Nah, they open the other door, Sean. Um, which one would be the right choice here, if we want to be stealthy? Probably not using Daniel's powers, I guess. Because we already got the camera, right? I think we'll be okay in terms of not getting detected by the camera. Oh, frick. Oh god, that's a freaking CD player. <laughs> I thought that was a camera. <laughs> oh. Well, what are we waiting for? We made it, boys! I think. Uh, okay, hold up. Shh. We sneak in. Daniel opens the safe. We grab the money. Then get the fuck out. Sound like a plan? We did it! Hey, I have that lamp too. It's from Ikea. <laughs> Alright. This is it, my man. Just focus. Don't rush. Yeah. Almost there. Whoa. Daniel, <laughs> man, I've never touched this much cash my whole life. <laughs> do you realize the things we can do with this money? Thank you, Daniel. We are a badass team. Of course we're gonna take it. What is this? You have to be shitting me! You losers are actually trying to rip me off? Try not to be so fucking loud! All right, move your asses over there. Now! Uh, Meryl, uh, <laughs> boss, <laughs> I know this looks bad, but- Stop, I don't want to hear any more of your shit. So, what was your big fucking plan, exactly? Work here for a time and then break into my safe? Pathetic. Who was the moron mastermind? Like I didn't know. I gave you punks work when nobody would. A place to crash for free. The tent? This is how you repay me? Stealing from me? Uh, no, no, it's not about you. On your knees, now! So I don't think this option matters. Oh! Oh! Ah! Daniel, move! Oh! Uh, oh! Motherfucker! No, don't! Ah! Oh! <gasps> oh! Shit! Daniel, don't look. He's. He's. Listen, don't look. No. <laughs> No! Ugh. What the? Daniel, oh down!
end result is always Daniel lashing out, but it does happen in quite a few different variations here. Finn can die, Finn cannot die, Daniel can get injured, Daniel cannot get injured. Big Joe and Cassidy, they can be here, they can be not here. One little thing that I noticed right before it went to shit though. Remember how Daniel was having the coughs last episode? Seems like after he started using his powers a lot, that started happening again. When we were walking through the greenhouse, Daniel coughed a little bit too, and he was coughing a lot when we opened the safe. So that's like this season's version of Max's nose bleeding. Quite a bit more subtle though, so I feel like it's really easy to overdo it. Ah, Finn, there was a lot of blood here. You stole a vehicle without alerting Big Joe. You snuck into Meryl's house without being noticed. Yeah, stealing the vehicle, okay. A quarter of the people got it, but getting into the house without being noticed is really hard. There were so many additional steps. You took the gun from Meryl's safe. This number is so low just because there's not very many people who can make it to the safe without being noticed to begin with. I shot Meryl and Finn was killed. The 1%. Okay, I think I'm gonna keep this one for my episode 4 alternate playthrough then, since it seems like it's a little bit rarer. Finn was shot dead, and Daniel lashed out at Sean. Daniel himself wasn't hurt though, so that's a small variation there. Mm, so by the end here, Daniel always runs away, Sean always gets hurt. Daniel and Sean seem like they'll be separated for the next episode, but I'm really sure that they'll meet again, and maybe by then. The fact that every single time Daniel looks at Sean, he's gonna see the eye. Maybe that'll be a good enough reminder that he really has to learn how to control his powers. Well, I really enjoyed looking through the alternate stuff this time. And we're all caught up, so we will be back when episode 4 rolls around in August. August 22nd, I believe. This was Wellens, and I'll see you later. Bye!